Hello my crafty friends, how's everyone doing today? This is Sherry and welcome to my craft room. I wanted to give you a little update on this little junkie journal that I'm working on, this second one, and show you where I'm at. So uh, we did the cover together, which I said wasn't necessarily totally junky, but I did make it out of old book pages to start with, this is the base. And then we added this and we added um, this piece of a gift bag, or actually it was a shopping bag, on the back here to, um, you know, kind of add to the color and keep with the color scheme that was happening on the front. And on this little stitched piece here, if you didn't see that video, my junk journal playlist will be linked below. You can just go there and see all my junk journal videos. Uh, just click on that link. But uh, I went ahead and, oh, we put this, this on together. I went ahead, oh, you saw me where I cut off in that first video, I cut off the ends of these, this ribbon because it was too long. And here's one piece, uh, <clears throat> so they're about, pieces we cut off were about this long. And I said, yes, I'll keep those and, you know, add that to my scrap ribbon uh, basket. Uh, well, it's actually like a little container. But, um, yeah, uh, so I, you know, have that one sitting here, but I had two pieces sitting here. So the second one I used here on the spine, and it's still drying actually. I just glued it over. I sewed in the pages and glued that on the spine. So that's where I used one of those pieces of the cutoff of this ribbon. And so here I already have the pages. So the inside, uh, the reason this I'm calling this a junky junk journal is because, well, some of the pieces I used on the cover, but also all of the pages are junky. Uh, trash <laughs> so but we um, I haven't added any ephemera yet but I wanted to show you and tell you a little bit about the pages and then do a little bit of uh, adding a few things in uh, tuck spots and some interesting things belly band stuff like that but this is another part of the gift bag here that I use for a page just so you get an um, if you've never made a junky junk journal uh, once you start thinking about and noticing things around you that come through your life every day uh, things that maybe you didn't think I, I don't want to mention a few, few things that maybe you didn't think about until you start thinking about stuff like that as a way to as something a paper that you might put in a junk journal so like I said that was from the shopping bag that I used here and on the back cover that was another piece of it and it had that pretty gold writing on it so I thought that was pretty there the back of it is this craft color so uh, something I've been saving recently and I've been using in my orders to, to wrap things in because, I don't know, I just think it's interesting and a way to recycle and repurpose something. But that is the paper that at work, it's wrapped around a ream of paper, okay? So we have uh, different papers we use, so they're all wrapped in, you know, different types of paper, copy paper, maybe some uh, different color papers and some... Uh, and just different companies sometimes you get them from and then they have different papers so anyway this is from you can see the word xerox right here this is from a xerox um paper that was uh, wrapped around a ream of paper and what i do is because you know how if you work in an office you know how you kind of just rip that off and you don't even pay attention to it usually <laughs> well i try to get in there and fill up the copiers before somebody comes along and rips it off and i carefully unwrap it like you would uh, unwrap a present when you're trying to save the wrapping paper <laughs> so I know uh, nobody's seen me doing it so they haven't questioned me about like what why are you not just ripping that off <laughs> so nobody's usually around when I'm doing it either so anyway um yeah I take those into my office and save them <laughs> and bring them home now but there's a piece of it there okay so this next page which a piece is a piece of cardstock and I thought it had this pretty pink and blue on here and it has a little tab in here I can punch out. Oh, well, I'll, go ahead. I'll go ahead and punch it out. See this little tab? So a little piece of ribbon or something could be added on there. So I thought that could be interesting, but that is a piece of packaging. This is, oh, let me show you real quick. So this is a piece of composition book paper. Let me show you how it's, it's purplish color. And I wanted to put it in here because of the color of these flowers, these stitched flowers on the front cover there. <clears throat> so... Yeah, that's a piece, but I wanted to show you how that turned out because I mentioned it. Uh, was it in my last video? I think it was where I started this. Or maybe it was the one before that. I mentioned I was using up my paint. I wanted some paint, trying to use up a night, some paint where I was um, 
painting the covers of the book covers that I showed you the, that were made out of book pages. Anyway, so I managed to use up one bottle. Uh, let me take a quick drink. I feel like I'm going to cough. Got my coffee here. <coughs> but I coughed anyway. <laughs> little throat clearing there. But yeah, I that was a purple little bottle of, you know, the little craft paints you get at Walmart or wherever you get them. Anyway, I felt like there was a lot of paint residue left inside that bottle. And I was like, I don't want to waste that. So I took it and put some water in it, shook it up. I did it a couple of times because I couldn't get it off the inside of the, you know, you can see it lining the inside of the little bottle. So I sh put just a little water in there because I didn't want it to be too watery or too much. You know what I mean? I don't know. You'd have to try it to see what I mean. But anyway, probably. But anyway, I did that. Just a little water, shook it up real, you know, a lot, poured it in a bowl, and then I did it again. And I used it all up on just these few pages because, I, like I said, it was just a little bit of water. But this is what I uh, did with it. So, like, this is a composition book page. And it doesn't feel um, paint like painty or anything. Or, like, the paint didn't do anything weird to the paper. So it's just now it's just dyed paper, which, which was dyed with watery paint. And here's the other side. I just did one side, so it came through here a little bit. But now I can cut this up and put this in a journal. I, and I put a piece in here. Uh, this is another piece, just to show you the different, this piece I did cut up. This is, I tried it on cardstock too. I had a piece of white cardstock sitting there. So I just dyed this side, you could see. I just did this side and it came through onto this side in this way. On the white, like cardstock. Okay, and then this is another piece of another piece of composition book paper. I had a few of these here. I think it's really pretty. And the side is lighter, kind of a splotchy look, but that looks really good. If you don't think it looks good right now, it actually looks really good inside of a junk journal once it's a page. So that's what this is right here. I wanted to put a page in here. Uh, so fun. And the cut, sometimes the, like you can see the lines kind of, spread out there. Sometimes they fade or sometimes they spread out and do different things and I think that is actually really cool too. So this is something I um, didn't put in the last. The last journal was my first real junky junk journal and so I, this one I had a little a Ziploc bag uh, that I put in here. It was kind of like the right size so I'll be able to put something in here and I got this idea from Anna at Anna's Chateau she uses uh, cool looking rice bags in her um, journals and I don't have any rice bags like that but I had this. So and hers have a little ziplock on them. I thought I think they're so cool anyway. She puts things in them and so that's what that is. A little just a little ziplock bag. This is another piece of paper, paper that I made or this page was made from a, the wrapping uh, around a ream of paper. See how different this one is? This one is shiny and it's um, just different colors and the other one was this one right here. See this one's more of a, a flat paper. So yeah they can be, I think they can be really interesting. Um, and I have another one that I don't, I don't have here. I didn't use in this journal but I'll use it in one of my next journal, junky junk journals because it's really pretty. It's a bright royal purpley blue with orange-ish yellow on it. Really pretty. That's the one I first started saving. And I only did it because someone in my office, they didn't even really say it to me because I do paper crafting, I don't think. She just was unwrapping one of those reams of paper with that really one I'm talking about, the bright purpley color. She was getting ready to unwrap one. She's like, oh, look at this pretty paper. And I was like, oh, what are you talking about? Pretty paper? <laughs> Hello, my ears perked up. And I turned and looked and I was like, oh, that is pretty paper. <laughs> and from then on, I started looking more closely at the paper that's wrapped around our paper. So it wasn't even me that really like noticed it. It was somebody in my office was like, why have I never noticed this before? <laughs> okay, so something else different. Um, I bought this luncheon loaf, which is something I don't normally buy, but I bought it for, um, a reason. 
and then uh, I needed to use it. I used it this week because it was the expiration date was fast or uh, quickly approaching and I was like, let me do something with this. You know, I wish I wouldn't have, kind of wish I wouldn't have bought it, but it actually turned out decent. I just fried it up in a pan and we had it for breakfast one morning, but uh, yeah. And so I liked the look of the label. So I peeled it off of there and put it as a page in here. So another place, you know, you just never know when something, if you see a pretty color, look at it and say, hey, can that be a page in my journal? <laughs> So you'll find some cool stuff that way, I think. So this is what that is. That's the first half of it. It's just white on the back. But I think that's fun. So I put some of this in my last journal. So I had a little piece that was perfect. I didn't even have to cut it or anything. It fit in here perfectly from a gift bag that had the zebra print on it. And so that's like a plasticky, light, you know, kind of like a plastic bag feeling. Uh, but it was in the shape of a gift bag with a handle and everything. And then this is that paper that was the cover of a scrapbook paper pack. It was a papery piece that I, I have always thrown away before, but never will I do it again because, especially if I'm saving things for a junky junk journal, which I think I'm going to try to just keep a basket here. And then when it starts getting to be too much, I'll just make some junky junk journals. But anyway, that's that. So that you've seen all the paper here. Here's the other half of that bag. I was going to sew it closed, but I decided to leave it open. I don't, like, why would I sew it closed? Because then it would be useless, really, unless you glue something on top of it. So I left it open to be able to tuck something in there. And so that is where I'm at with that. Okay, so here's the pieces I want to put in here. I have uh, quite a few pieces left from the gift bag. I have this little piece here. I have this little piece here. You're probably like, what are you going to do with that? I'll show you. I have an idea. I have also this, which I'm going to put in another journal. I showed you this already in my last video. And I tried to open it, but it looks all kind of messy in there. So I decided to leave it closed. But we'll put this in a journal where I can keep it whole and uh, use it. Because here it's a little, I could, you know, it's a little bit too big for this little journal. So I'll keep that for another journal. But this I, cut, I uh, was debating on whether to make it a page or, because I already have a page of this right here. This is the same gift bag or shopping bag actually. But I thought maybe I'd make it a little flip up in here. So I got a little piece here I need to cut off. Got my paper cutter right here. So I'm going to cut that off. It's just a little piece that um, apparently I cut into or something. I don't know. A little Got a little tear there or cut or something. So uh, there we go. So I thought I could make this a flip up. Let's see. Is it still too wide? It just depends on the paper I put it on. So let's look for a spot to put that. I don't necessarily want to put it right on the back of that, but it could go there. Well, I think I need to even up this side too. Let's see, it could go there and it would look pretty there. Let me see, this side is a little, not that it has to be straight. This is a junky junk journal. I could just like go with whatever I have, but I wouldn't mind it being a little narrower, 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 <laughs> I can't talk, narrower anyway. Um, I could put it here. Let's just go back a little bit more and see if there's anywhere. I could put it on here. No, I don't think it looks great there. Um, I could put it here. I think I might put it here. I do like to put things, if I glue something in, I don't like to take up writing space. So that's why I kind of, you know, hesitate on anything like that. Here. It's just right at the beginning. It does look good there, though. Or, or where else did I have it? Back here. Looks good there. I like it on that blue paper. It kind of makes it stand out, doesn't it? So either there or, or here. Uh, I almost like it on this one better. What do you think? I think so. So uh, since this is shiny paper here, a little bit glossy, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac on here. And so this is going to be a little flip up, uh, you know, space to do something with uh, for the person that gets this, eventually gets this journal. So uh, I think that'll be fun and a way to use this little piece of leftover paper from that shopping bag. So I think that's fun, a nice junky junk journal type of thing. Uh, so we'll just glue this right down on here. 
and then and let me show you this other piece I think this is gonna be could be really fun too so this is in the first half of the journal maybe we'll put the next piece in the last second half of the journal so this is all nice and glued down I'm just gonna get this edges down nice okay there we go isn't that fun it's just plain thing but uh, then whoever guesses can decorate here put a picture here right on there right in here all of this room here so so that's cool okay so here is the middle okay so second half off for this little piece let's just go right here I think I I don't know how this is gonna work but I kind of wanted to do it so this is from uh, the gusset I wonder where the other half is because there should have been a second piece but anyway I don't know where the second piece is but maybe I threw it out I'll have to look around but uh, anyway this was this piece was sitting here and I thought I could just put it here as a little fold out like it would just I would just glue it down it could end up being a tuck spot well th this part would be glued down right here so it's, it will be a little fold out uh, this way uh, I don't know when you fold it up let's see so it'll be like that so something could be tucked in here maybe I mean I could glue it all down and it could be a tuck spot but I want it to be a fold out so like this so I could try putting glue see there's a little shape this part would be glued down so I could try putting glue here I'm trying to figure out how to make the back part a tuck spot so here and here so if I do that it'll be glued down like that I just don't know if that's enough if I put glue here that could still be a little glut a tuck spot and then it would still be and then it would glue down better let's 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 just try it we're going to experiment with this one um, just a way to use up every piece and I'm trying not to put too much glue on here so I don't use up my tuck spot space so there there and there and do I need it here mm, probably not you know, in order to get something in and out, I might need a little bit here just to hold this down. Okay, let's do this and see how this turns out. You know, you just got to kind of think about what you have and figure it out on the way. Okay, so let's get this in the right spot. Right there. I'm trying to see this is white on white here so I'm trying to see this particular page without gluing onto this page down here okay so glue it's pushing down the glue that we put on there okay now so it'll fold up like that and here is a little piece of cardstock and I'll show you so it'll it'll be a little spot here that will open up. You can write all in here, fold up, and so behind it, there's a little tuck spot right there. Something can be tucked in there. And if whoever gets this wants to, they could glue this down. Like put glue right here and glue this down and have a second tuck spot or leave it as something that opens up like that. And I'm sure there's a way to make this without like a refold this but I wanted to leave it with the original fold that was the idea here to leave it with the original fold and creases and everything so there we go <laughs> I think that's kind of fun so the other thing I wanted to put in here is a belly band and this is from packaging I've got a little bit of it's too long um, it won't wrap around a page this way so I think I need to cut off go ahead and cut off this sticky part here and see what I'm left with so that will 
thought it would go in the trash. I don't know. <laughs> you never know when I might bring it back. Uh, and then this is sticky over here. Let's see, it's not sticky on the back, just right here. So let's just cut just the sticky part off and see if we have enough to make a belly band. And so is that straight? Let me just cut over here for a second. And I'm just cutting a sliver off there to make that straight. <clears throat> okay, so that's pl that's plenty, more than enough. So I can see this is the pretty part here, if you want to call this pretty. It's got a pretty, I think it's a pretty decoration. This was wrapped around a little container, a little plastic container, I think, that had beads or something in it. So uh, anyway, let's get the length, and then we'll... Well, let's see, we put something in the first half, something in the um, second half. Let's see, this could be cute right here because it's blue and then we have some more blue to add. So about right here, we would need to cut off this part right here. So another piece of trash, something we normally throw out that we're making into a belly band. So this one is uh, like a thick paper. I wouldn't necessarily call it cardstock. I would more likely call this thick paper, almost cardstock, but not. So let's see if we can glue this down with some Fabri-Tac. I kind of like to sew my belly bands on, but uh, this I'm going to glue on. I have glued them on before, so it's not a problem gluing on, but I do like to sew them a lot of times, but I have to usually think about it before I put the pages in, <laughs> in order to sew on a belly band like this. Okay, and then so, uh, since this is more papery, let's see, I don't want to get any glue down here. Did I get any glue down here? No, I didn't. Okay. So uh, I need to let this dry. And we did this in the other, in the last Junkie Junk Journal too, in order to keep this flat and let it dry. I put paper clips on it. So I'm going to put a paper clip there and a paper clip here. And let this dry. Make sure is it straight? This okay. I think that's straight. All right, there we go. So that can dry now. Let me make sure there's no glue oozing out here. I just don't want my pages to get glued together. A little bit of is that from my glue or what is that from? Okay, I'm gonna put a little something. It's like I don't have any, all my junky paper here is from a junk journal, <laughs> so I'm gonna put a pair of scissors here right now. So, the other thing I had to put in here, well, that's a piece of trash probably, um, but I had some of these I wanted to use. This is not, I put a few pieces in the last junky junk journal that. Uh, were decorations that weren't junk so I'm trying to do mostly junk but I want to I just this is just something I want to use up so I'd like to put a couple of these in here and these are little corner decorations so if I can use at least one I think this one of these would be pretty I just was looking for some stuff and I found these and I was like let me go ahead and use one of these I guess these are supposed to be uh, just corner decorations and they're papery so I probably wouldn't use them as, see I'm even afraid to, like I'm almost going to tear it right now, Get just trying to get it out of, out of here. Especially this part right here, where you have to go up and around to these little pieces. And I could cut it off right there, but there's some pretty flowers there. So I would like to get those if I can. Let's see. going to come without ripping. Oh, 
Here we go. I got it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There's one. That was painful. <laughs> so uh, let's see. That's pretty there, but it probably would look prettier on a. See, look how pretty that is. So that's going to. I'm going to try to put mostly trash in here, but I want a couple. Put a couple pretty pieces too that aren't trash. So. And then whoever gets these can do. Load it up with, you know, all the either junky junk or, or non-junky junk, pretty stuff, whatever. It's like if you get a junky junk journal, it almost gives you the freedom to do whatever you want because you don't feel like you're going to really, you can't really mess it up, I don't think, right? <laughs> That's kind of, think, kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, so I am putting glue all over there. And just gluing this down as a little decoration here. So that is pretty. Okay. And then the other thing I wanted to put in here, I was looking, when I was looking for this ribbon, I found this. And it's like so close to this color. I thought, oh, I really, you know, it's not junky, but I really would like to use a piece of this somewhere in here because it's just so perfect for this color of this cover. Uh, this end piece is a little messed up here. Let's see, where are my scissors? Oh, I put them in here. These are my Sharpie Sharp scissors I can cut fabric with. Okay, so there we go. Even that up. And let's see where we might put a piece of this. Uh, we could put it right on this first page. That would be pretty. And I would have it little stick out a little bit too. So you can see it when you look from the side. See how pretty that would be? That would be gorgeous. No, there's no reason a junky junk journal can't be gorgeous. <laughs> so we're doing it. That is just too perfect. Uh, to put not to put there. Okay, so right here in between is this little scalloped edge. So right there in between those two scallops. It's got like a this decoration on here is almost like a little string that is kind of twisted into little flower shapes. So it wants to come if you don't if you're not careful it comes unwound. So that's why I'm trying to be careful where I cut it. And that's why I had to cut that end off. So we're going to glue that down with some Fabri-Tac right here on the edge. I'm going to try to get it in a good, cute little spot here. Here it is. So let me see. I think if I just glue the flower, put it under the flowers there on the glue, pretty much, it'll be in the right spot. Like line the flowers up with the glue. And then I'll have some sticking out over. Let me see. Let me pull it out a little bit. Uh, so then you can see it from both sides. Oh, that's really pretty on the that is really pretty on this craft color. I'll show you too that. Show that to you too. But here we go. Oh, that is just gorgeous. There we go. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm going to have to put another piece of that in there. Look how that looks. See here? And I can still wrap this here and tie it. It will not be a problem. It's flexible. So no problem tying that. But let me show you. When you open up, there it is. And then when you look from this side, it's also very pretty on the craft colored paper. So I just want to make sure that's all that it glued down nicely. And then we'll look for one more spot, like so we have two rows of that in here. Oh my goodness, I love that. Okay, so let's go to the back. Maybe we'll put it on the same, yeah, the same paper. Yep, 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 okay, yep. <laughs> Hello, why didn't I think of that? Okay, so we'll put it here. We'll have one in the front and the back. Let's see, about right there. I kind of lost it there when I picked it up. Hold on. 
Uh, okay, about right there. In here. Oh, it's going to go right through a flower. Let me cut above the flower. <laughs> Just above that flower. I was trying to cut in between the scallops, but I don't want to cut a flower in half because it's just going to unravel. Okay, now we're going to cut that even. And do the same thing with a little bit of glue here. So we'll go across this edge. Make sure there's enough down here. Okay, and again. We will. Oh, I've got a string of glue there following me. Okay, again with the fla flowers. And then we'll position it. Okay, so here, if I look on this side, I just pull it out a little bit so that's showing here. Also on this craft paper. And then it should be in the right place for the journal cover too. Let me kind of press it down all up and down there. Okay, let's see how it looks from the back. Okay, there it is from the back too. This piece right here is the one we just put in, so you can see it from the back. You can see it from the side. Gorgeous. And from the other side of this paper. Right there, all on that edge. Okay, let me press it down one more time from this side. It's easier to press down on this side than the other side. There we go. So we add some gorgeousness to our junky junk. <laughs> Who knew you could make junky junk gorgeous, right? Um, we did. We did. We knew it. We knew we could do it. Okay, so let's see how our belly band's doing. Is it dry? Probably. Yep, nice and flat and sturdy. We'll tuck something in there. So, um, yeah, now I'm going to gather some goodies and uh, use up some, I don't know exactly what ephemera I'm going to put in here, but I'm going to look through my ephemera that I already have made and see if I have any junky junk ephemera made, which I know I do because I made quite, I made a lot of things out of scraps. So that is kind of like, I consider that junky junk kind of stuff. So um, anyway, see how uh, she is now and once we get the ephemera in there and I might uh, I do want to add some pockets Let's See we have a, pockets here. We have pockets in the front and back right here And then we have that belly band and that tuck spot here that we made uh, But I don't think I have any more other pockets in here. So um, I pro I'll probably just add a couple of pockets and then stuff it full and I'll, probably the next video on this little journal will be the flip through. So stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed, just subscribe, hit the subscribe button so that you'll get notifications of my next videos. And then, um, yeah, you, this will be in my shop when I do that video. When I do my flip throughs, I always put the, the journal in my shop before the video so I can tell you when you see it. It will be in my shop so yeah if you're interested you can let me know before it even comes out on flip through or um, just check my shop and see if it's still there when you see the flip through so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video have a great day